Tom Ball burned himself alive, not necessarily to protest you personally, but the overall judicial system in New Hampshire. Did his act have any effect on any, any of your rulings since then? Have you been more cautious? All right, so as those of you who've been watching the series are well aware, this uh, you know Governor's Commission on Drugs in New Hampshire is so big and prominent that it... Uh, it put a lot of bureaucrats in one place, important bureaucrats, who I normally wouldn't get a chance to interview. So when I found out there would, might be one or more judges there, I, I didn't have questions for them about the, the commission that they were on. I wanted to know about judge-related things. So I asked Judge uh, Gordon here, you'll see his full name in a minute, the best red meat question I have for really all New Hampshire judges, and that's what do you do about uh, how, do you, how did you react when this guy burned himself alive in Keene, burned himself to death uh, around 2011. He was protesting against the judicial system. Here's how it went when I asked. Judge Gordon? It is. Uh, Tom Ball burned himself alive, not necessarily to protest you personally, but the overall judicial system in New Hampshire. Did his act have any effect on any, any of your rulings since then? Have you been more cautious? Uh, not specifically because of that act. I try to be cautious in every respect. I try to be cautious and respectful of everyone who appears in front of me. Do you support the decision of the, of the authorities to suppress the video of that incident? It happened at a courthouse. I think it was Keene Superior Court. Um, I have no idea. I'm not aware of that issue, frankly. Well, no one's ever seen the video that they got. Thank you. Thank you for answering the questions, Judge. You're welcome. Now, more thoughts with regard to the Drug Commission itself. I did not see a soul among the roughly 75 people who were coming and going who seemed to represent the pro-liberty position. Now, part of that's because it's, it's probable that the government didn't appoint any pro-liberty people to the commission or associate any pro-liberty people with it. However, uh, to their credit, apparently they do allow public comment. So any of you who want can go and crash the party. Just you can walk in there and you can, you can address the entire commission and the many, many people who, who are attending. I couldn't do that because I was tied down outside doing ambush interviews. But this, this governor's commission is a great opportunity for freedom folk to get in there and make the difference between zero and one. It is ultimately the biggest difference. Zero pro-liberty message versus one lonely dissident is a big difference. Look at the video description for this clip for a link to the meeting schedule. Basically, it's at, at the GenCord site. Crash that party, folks. Don't make me do it alone. And in fact, I don't think you are. There are other liberty activists who have been to other meetings of this commission. By the way, it only met for two hours the day I was there, so there's a good chance you wouldn't be there a long time. Are you a liberty activist willing to be on the front line against socialism? Freekeen.com would like you to consider moving here to Keen. While Keen may have the largest number of liberty-oriented media outlets in the entire state of New Hampshire, there's still a need for more activists. Can you help them? Visit freekeen.com to see what's happening. Freekeen.com hooks you up with all the liberty media in town. Join the Keen Liberty Activists and help free the beautiful city of Keen, New Hampshire from the clutches of the government. Freekeen.com